YouTube. And then, oh. oh, hi, Art TV. Good to see you there. I'm Muhammad. And I'm Esther, and we're your hosts. Welcome to our crib. Studio space. <laughs> this fall semester, we're focusing on the territory. You know, design doesn't end at the door, but it extends to the immediate and extended landscape. These extends really vary based on project. For example, a house would extend to the front or backyard, a public space would extend to a plaza or a garden, and for a street it would be what belongs to the street and what belongs to what's built along that street. Our territorial project covers agriculture, architecture, geography, and infrastructure. Us specifically, we dealt with the Illinois and Michigan Canal Corridor. It's a 96 mile stretch of waterway that really developed Chicago. Um, we studied and mapped out sites along this canal, and we are now developing them as architecture. And it's really specific to surface conditions and exterior surfaces and ground conditions and stuff. In other words, we see what is left of the canal as a catalyst for an architectural prototype that combines local community and regional heritage. What do you mean when you say architecture is territory? So territory itself is a term that has been kind of changed and is still evolving over time. So what it used to mean is kind of who has control over certain regions, whose canals go here, whose streets go here, whose rules go here. Now it's kind of been changed to mean something more along the lines of like combining architecture and combining with natural landscape and uh, what kind of belongs to which category. An important part of territory is the agency of mapping. Territory is the surface expression of the complex and dynamic of social and natural processes, wind and sun, historical events, and stories. So territory itself can kind of be thought of as a process of combining architecture, infrastructure, and landscape into one kind of cohesive whole that's uh, both natural and artificial, kind of all coming together to form one kind of glue of territory. As Alex Wall would say, territory is the urban surface that connects and ties disparate parts of the urban environment. Should we see what we have been working on? We should. your architecture project? Well, lucky you. We have just what you need. It's called caffeine. It comes in many different brands, flavors, and milligrams. Here, try some. Drinking too much caffeine can result in not being able to sit still. There are due to both syndrome, insomnia, abdominal pain, plus heart pain, anxiety, digestive issues, addiction, and a lot more than will not name. Thank you, caffeine. To order today and a $1 off promotion be applied, call 555-673-8291 to receive your caffeine today for weekly installments of $300. Hi, Anthony. Welcome in. Let me show you what we were working on. The canal begins at the south branch of the Chicago River at Bridgeport, and it extends southwest for 96 miles to the Illinois River at the south. It was originally 60 feet wide and 6 feet deep. First broached by Louis Joliet in 1673, the idea of the canal at the base of Lake Michigan did not materialize until 1836. After 12 years of construction, the Illinois and Michigan Canal opened to commercial traffic in 1848, creating a link of our water between Lake Michigan and River via the Illinois River. The canal enabled a continuous flow of people on the St. the Midwest and established a pipeline that had the Midwest commercial hub. In 1964, the Adam Canal is designated the National Historic Landmark, and in 1984, the Congress recognized the significance of the Adam Canal and designated it as the nation's first national heritage corridor. Losing much traffic to the railroads in 1855, the canal remained important for bold movements until the end of the century. Today, the canal is no longer used as a commercial corridor, but it is a first industrial landscape, increasingly used for recreational, agricultural, and other ex-urban community programs. Water elevations of the canal was controlled by 15 lots, dispersed along its length, 
and the canal bisects many different terrains and landscapes along its route. In some locations, the canal is no longer loaded, and in other areas, the canal has been dredged. The studio overall began by making a map of the canal and canal trail that revealed many different layers of occupation along its route. We focus on the canal from Joliet to its termination point where it merges with the Illinois River at LaSalle. It is a continuous 61 mile path that was created in 1994. We split into five sections with each group researching and drawing a different 12 mile section of the territory. The section maps were then combined into one larger super map. As architects, we are interested in the geospatial and material aspects of the infrastructure. At the same time, we are mindful of the economic, historic, and social fabric of the canal as it pertains to the canal as an infrastructure space. The map was used to select sites for a project. In this way, the map and our own research are instrumental in determining what interventions we will make in, around, or alongside the canal moving forward in our own projects. Shanahan State Park is the official trailhead for the Illinois and Michigan Canal Fleet Trail. Today, Shanahan State Park is under management of the Illinois Department of Natural Resources and provides for park visitors a look back at a historic waterway that transformed the state. The original Lock 10 house at Lock 6 is located at the Shanahan State Park. The INM Canal made Morris an important center for agriculture, industry, trade, and government. It, the downtown thrives as one of Morris, one of Illinois' most fertile agricultural counties. It's also downtown, is where the location of many activities, including play areas for kids, fields, and courts for various boys. Moving on to the town of Seneca. Uh, the town of Seneca and its extent is predominantly regarded as an industrialized agricultural town where diverse terrains exist like farmland, dense forests, and wetlands that compose this rural area. The INM Canal within the Seneca stretch is currently dried up, but many structures in the area along and far to the INM Canal, like the grain elevators, country and sportsman clubs, Marinas, construction and agricultural companies, farms, reveal the trade and transportation of goods along the island and canal, which used to take place here. The town of Ottawa has various amounts of history that can be traced as far back to the first debate of Abraham Lincoln versus Douglas in 1858. The canal runs through the town of Ottawa and continues into the town of Merced. The LaSalle section mainly consists of places of residence north and south of the canal, LaSalle's natural waterway allows for multiple industrial activities. One of such contributors to this growth is the Little Vermilion River Archiduct. The archiduct like this was a major factor into the life and construction of the canal. Did you drink too much caffeine that your hands were so shaky you accidentally cut yourself with your knife? Yeah, well, we have something else to introduce to you. Band-Aids. They cover your boo-boo, but you still feel the pain. <gasps> Here, try some. Feel better? No? Mm -hmm. Well, that's just too bad. You have to finish your project. It's given eight hours. Band-Aids come in many different colors. They range in different shades of brown and different characters like random animals, random people, and even minions. By the time you finish this project, all of your fingers will be covered in band aids. First aid kits are located by the entrance of third year studio. Grab a band aid and keep on working because it's all you can. Recording, three, two, one.
Working with the partner, we conducted analysis on two territorial precedents, one building and one outdoor landscape. A team of three students added a third precedent, either a building or a landscape. The precedents are specifically chosen because they exemplify how architecture, infrastructure, and landscape organize territory through one or more of the following. Integrating the natural landscape, positioning itself relative to a complex site, capturing the outdoors, negotiating and or capitalizing on infrastructure, defining a unique formal and material relationship with ground, revitalizing a post-industrial state, or catalyzing a larger area. The precedents are mostly built projects, but some, but some significant speculative projects are included. Some projects are more infrastructural with less indoor program. Our project is a new architectural prototype that integrates the many territorial layers of the island. History, regional infrastructure, logistics, recreation, community on five different sites along the 51 miles. The project catalyzes the future occupation of the INM corridor to reimagine the canal as a vibrant post industrial infrastructure at the local and regional scale. All five selected sites are adjacent to the canal town to allow maximum overlap between community and visitors. The project is conceived as an interpretive node that joins uh, an emerging network of entry points at various sites throughout the corridor that together provide a solid introduction to the entire island canal network national heritage corridor. At the same time, it responds to its local constitu constituency through programs for the surrounding community. In this way, it's conceived as a social as well as physical infrastructure. Our project seeks to uncover the many stories that contribute to the canal through community, tourism, education, and advocacy at the intersection of architecture, landscape, and infrastructure. It is part visitor center with exhibit space, cafe, and a small auditorium, part community hub with classrooms for lectures, studios, after school and summer kids camps, part landscape with outdoor public space and part infrastructure since it interfaces with the canal. That's it. <laughs> right on time. <laughs> Happy to take any questions. that on are we on are you hearing us jane yeah okay. sorry it's hard to know with all the noise in the studio sure sure <laughs> it was so like tv that we all just tuned in and they're now just passively well, i think that um what we've learned is that this space the sound was we were so focused on the kind of visuals and script that the sound was a little problematic but otherwise great yeah. job Thank you guys. Thank you. No, it looks great. I mean, really, looks 
wonderful and fun. So now we just had a week where we had midterms for two days and then today we spent doing this. So Monday we start the second half of the semester where we start to architecturalize the projects a little bit more, not too much. Um, uh, doing a site plan where we show the primary floor plan of the building with some zooms and then an atmosphere drawing. And then at the end, we go back out to revise the site models based on the developed, um, the developed projects. So that's the kind of trajectory now as we move into the second half of the semester. But it's great to see action in the studio and lots of models and it's good, good vibes. Studio is open so they can come by anytime. Yeah. yeah, anyone drop by anytime. All the work will stay on the wall. The models are in the studio, so. We'll send the photographer there on Tuesday morning <laughs> when, they, when they come. I'm, I'm glad to see also that students notice the first aid kits. That's. That's also good to know that they recognize that they're there. Somebody's got to have a question. Well, if there's no questions, we want to thank Olivia and Naya and Danny and Will and Damari and Mohammed. And Omar, Miguel, Aureli, Mateos, Esther, and Alex for putting that all together. I I will I only want to say. <laughs> so I'm here, right? So I grew up in this area. And I want to say, like, it was like really surprising to see Marseilles, Marseilles, not Marseille, Marseilles. I was like corrected many times growing up there uh, about how to pronounce the town in Seneca, the high school where I had the opportunity to review the projects. And I thought they were great. So I think it's a it's a it's a fun studio and it's awesome to see it. And so good job. Thanks, Chris. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> Happy Friday. So no questions, just yeah. nice. Even better. Okay, Jane. Thanks for accommodating. It's my pleasure. I guess I'm the keeper of the official open studio, open and close. Um, no, it's fantastic. Thank you so, so much. It was super fun. And I know it was a long week for you all. So I hope everybody, yeah, get some rest. We'll go out with the weekend. Happy Friday, everyone. <laughs> Woo! Happy Friday. Enjoy the weekend. <laughs>